Hello, welcome to I'm Not So Awesome Review, and today we're looking at the Ban Presto World Figure Coliseum Shanks from One Piece Red Hair. I don't actually know if I'm pronouncing his actual name right. Anyways, this statue is, like I said, part of the Ban Presto World Figure Coliseum, which is a competition between sculptors where they kind of put their stuff against each other, and uh, yeah, so Ban Presto, this guy comes in one, two, three, four pieces, five pieces. I didn't actually take any pictures of that while it was separate. I actually put it all together. I just realized. Uh, usually, you know, what I do is I'll I'll take everything and then show it, and then I'll take all the B-roll footage afterwards. But because of my schedule lately, I took all the B-roll footage that you're gonna see in a few seconds uh, earlier before the uh, review. So I'm just gonna go over and tell you guys what comes on separate. And you know, it's really easy to put together. You don't actually need me showing you, but I'm still gonna tell you guys anyway. The base, the body the head, the cape, this little stand support thing, and his sword are all separate pieces. Uh, the head, obviously really easy to put in, you just plug in. The cape, again, really easy to get onto his shoulders. This piece, I would actually recommend putting in after you set him onto the base because it, it does support his cape and everything, and it's there to help so it doesn't fall off. But he does support his own cape by himself without this. It's just obviously you want this for extra security. I know some of you might be thinking it's kind of ugly, and it's true, you know, seeing that kind of holding it up gets rid of the illusion just a little bit. Uh, they could have made this a lot heavier, had it glued on, but you know how Bound Presto is with the fact that most, if not all, of their statues are always in pieces that you put together. His sword is rubbery, in case anyone's wondering, it is a piece of rubber, the handle is rubber, and his hand is rubbery, so getting it on there is not a problem at all. Uh, just, you know, be careful, don't extend it too much, but yeah, I, I don't see it breaking. And thankfully, the way it was packaged, this thing was in a piece of cardboard that helped the sword not lose its shape. Because otherwise, you know, rubber weapons, if they're in the packaging of like an action figure or something and they're curved, chances are you're going to take it out, it's going to be curved, and that would suck. But uh, not the case here. Anyways, taking a quick look at the figure itself, it does look really nice. I gotta be honest, the shading on it, on the skin, on everything, looks really good. The cape has all of these wrinkles going around everywhere. His face is definitely anime accurate, in my opinion. You know, the bearded mustache thing looks good. The scar on his eye, the red hair, I think looks amazing. The pants look great. The legs look great. Everything about this figure really looks nice. Even the sword, being made out of rubber did not stop it from being painted really well. I mean, it has that green handle that looks good. The gold on it is shiny. It's not dulled out. The silver on the handle too, or not on the handle, on the blade itself, I should say, is really well done. You know, a lot of times we get kind of accessories like this that are made out of different materials that the colors won't be as good because they didn't want to spend the money on the paint on that for whatever reason. But this one, I can definitely say it looks good. It doesn't even look like it's rubber. When I got it out of the packaging, I was surprised that it was so flexible. Like again, you can definitely move that around. Uh, the colors and everything, again, look fine. Uh, the likeness is there. Really not much else to say about this. You know, it is a statue, so these reviews do tend to be a little bit shorter. But I hope you guys got a clear picture of how he looks, of how this thing looks. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you are a fan of One Piece. I was told that there isn't much uh, merchandise on this particular character. Don't know if that's true. I haven't really done my research on uh, figures and stuff too much on this series. It, I've seen some of it, but there's so many episodes, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, jump on. It is something I want to watch in an entirety at some point. We'll see, because from what I know, this thing is still nowhere near being done. But uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.